What we see here is a scan of my brain. It's not any old scan. It's been taken using one of the most powerful brain scanners in the world, which is here at Massachusetts General Hospital. What you can see here is the wiring diagram of my brain. Now, to talk me through it is Professor Van Wedeen. Van, thanks very much. Can you talk me through what we're seeing, all this wiring here? Each of these structures that you see is a major fiber pathway in your brain. Over on the far right, we have the visual cortex, and these, this green bundle uh, over on the right are the fibers that connect the visual cortex to the eye and to the thalamus necessary for visual processing. So here we are looking right down the front. These green structures are crucial for intellectual and emotional processing. They're called the cingulum bundle, and there's a left and a right. And this big red structure going right across, that's the pathway between the two cerebral hemispheres, the corpus callosum, uh, that allows the left side to know what the right side is doing. And can we zoom right in? Yes, we can. Uh, this is a three-dimensional structure, and you see how the uh, cingulum arches over the red superhighway of the uh, corpus callosum. So what do you hope to learn from these incredible images? We, we have a, a number of purposes. On the one hand, we want to understand better how the brain is designed, how it works. On the other hand, we have biomedical objectives. We believe that these images will be a rich source of biomarkers for diagnosis and management of mental health issues. Uh, for example, uh, we, uh, we know that people will, may have dyslexia. And the people who have uh, better writing ability uh, have structural changes uh, in the language pathways that are reflected in the white matter. So we might be able to tell, for example, whether a child at a young age uh, is at risk of developing uh, a dyslexic uh, problem uh, or less so. Van, thanks very much. I've really enjoyed seeing my brain in this way. This is all part of a project called the Human Connectome Project, which is mapping the brains of 1,200 Americans to try and learn more about how the brain truly works.